two, one. Go. So, hello, everybody, and welcome to an absolutely lovely event that Flieger Talon, uh, uh, Flieger Regiment 63 made me aware of. That is happening over in the Chinese community, or that happened in the Chinese community, and to the final of it. And also, hello to Flieger Regiment 63. And thanks for joining uh, Hello, me. everyone. Uh, we're going to cover the... One again. Lo lovely, lovely cup of the Laurus Cup. Uh, the lo lovely Laurus Cup of the Chinese community that happened around Chinese New Year. And that is a 2v2 event with... How many teams were part of this League of Regiment? Mm, it's team, 10 teams in total. And uh, we, you know, the in the final game, it's just two teams left. Yeah, they really? went through a group stage. These are the best teams of the two groups. And on the left side, we have the team Sisu, the Finnish spirit. And on the other side, we have the Strafnikis. And they're coming in here with an Axis Mirror match. With Eric Rapana. And we ran the a bus to Rumini. Coming in with 21st Panzer and Ski Jäger. And the other team, also a pretty interesting one with the divisions, ain't it? With 26 Panzer and the Panzer Division Tatra. So, which division do you favor here? And do you have any information about the players, maybe? Like, how experienced are they? Are they in their first tournament? Have they won previous tournaments in the community? Yeah, the Eric Rapana is a fanatic, a fanatical, you know, Finnish army lover. He always plays, you know, uh, the Rima Rapana in, in Steel Division 2. And uh, this time, uh, he picked up Ski Jäger. So, we will see how he performed outside the uh, Rima Rapana. And uh, for the pan first Panzer Division player, the, which his name is, we ran a bus into Rimini. He is also a good player that, you know, players in the final game should be a good player and uh, have all their own tactics. And uh, for the blue team, which, you know, the Six and uh, Tatra, and uh, they're also good players. And uh, some uh, the player uh, joined the Chinese V1 tournament, as known as Nova Cup, for uh, like two or three seasons. So he's also a good player. And that's the all information I can provide for now. And uh, for more information, we shall look into game, uh, the, the, this game. So yeah, let's That's it. let's see how it goes. Um, which of the combinations, like obviously two one v one and two v two are a bit different, and two v two it's really about the synergy of the two divisions. Which of these two synergies do you like more? And like, do you like the Ski Eager twenty first Panzer or the Tatra twenty six Panzer more on paper? So oh, the Tetra and the uh, twenty six pounds of combo is well. I like them better. Uh, I like them more because you know the Tetra had a good quantity of you know the infantry and uh, well, twenty six Panzer division is a good division with their light armor and uh, you know the rocket launcher and uh, the stuff they had. Yeah. So yeah, the gun starts. Let's see how Let's it goes. See. As we have the two planes Skier from the get -go. There. Ooh, that Skiger plane there is uh. maybe in trouble already though. As the Focke Wolf already shooting for it and there's no AA on the ground. Ah. Uh. Oh no. That oh no. Will derail the plans here of Eriki. Yeah. As the uh, it's risky and uh it just got caught right by the Focke Wolf. Yeah, not having any AA below that was really risky. And the Focke Wolf now also still has a 250 kilogram bomb to plant somewhere. Let's see if it can find a suitable target. 
might be going for the pack 38 there. And an interesting ah. smoke start in the self as well. With the player down on the self planning to go through there with Tatra. Oh no, just deploying behind it. Okay. Well, it's the Focke Wolf is going for the pack 38. So that will be a big blow as well to the southern defense. It at least gets one kill on the SDK of that beforehand, though. Well, that fuck wolf is worth it in one single sortie, right? Yeah, that already has paid off. And the plans of Ski are going to north, of most likely off mapping the forest and then pushing hard through there, is going to be derailed. And uh, the Tatra player here. It with quite a lot of infantry in the forest as well, so that will be an interesting fight between these two infantry units in the north. Eat. Pack 40 there. Ooh, what a big Panzer duel already. Pan Panzer 38s and the Marders fighting the T-34s and the Pack 40. With the Pack 40 getting the better of it so far. And in the south, the 26 Panzer using its smoke once more. Trying to get rid of the Pack 38's line of sight, but a rather slow start in the south. The north with the forest fight though will already bring a lot of action. Sturmski Jäger is there, trying to get onto the STK of that. Getting the Feldjäger, which is a really valuable kill. Feldjäger an absolutely amazing unit. The now... the... The Panzer Fast, got it. Yeah, Ski Jägers and Gazelles there with a good kill, but... A kill back there on the unit on the hill, as the defensive line, I would say, is pretty strong there off Tatra. The Ski Jägers though, with the Sturm Ski Jägers, pretty good offensive unit, more of them coming in. And in th that fight in the forest, Tatra and uh, Ski Jäger, I would say, are pretty toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's just in the armor department where I would give the advantage to Tatra with the 38s. Though we get the unit that you play Ski Jäger for out onto the battlefield now. The big, big KV-2 is rolling in. We're gonna see how much damage that uh, can deal. The strong KV-2. <laughs> yeah, the, the fan uh, favorite. The, 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 the only real reason why you play this division. Mostly not because it's so strong, but because it has that damn cool unit. Early uh, war tank with the amazing... 152 millimeter gun in that massive, massive turret. But I'm not quite sure can... who would you give the advantage in that forest fight at the moment. I think it's Tetra still. You think they had a bit of light armor to support their infantry while in the forest. Skiagar only have two pan uh, two armor units, like one T-34 and uh, a Panzer Jäger. Yeah. The Focke Wolf uh, coming in with, with a nice run as well. Ricky finally brought some A8 at 37mm. Comes too late to save his off map plane, but will maybe protect him for, uh, from more incursions there in the north. Nebelwerfer at 41 coming in already with the classic supply truck combination. So that could be quite deadly. And yeah, the Sturmski Sturm, uh, Sturm versus SS Sturmkrant here. Pretty rough fight with uh, STG 44s there. Well, it's the Panzer 3M is having to retreat there away from the Gazelle for a minute. So in the end, it should still have the better in that fight. Gazelle gets the first shot though, but it does bounce. And with that, the Panzer 3M will kill it. Uh, and meanwhile, what is happening in the south? Oh, relatively big push there with Sturm Pioneers through the forest. But the other side answers with Storm Pioneers as well, and the Mortar Fire is perfectly on target. Both sides there with the Mortar half tracks doing a lot of work, and the one of Viranda Bus to Rimini is really on spot there. Perfect positioning, and that foils the plans there of the Strafniki team to try to get into that forest. Great Focke Wolf bombing run though. Really both sides bleeding a lot of units there already. And ah. Strong play so far in the south here, from both sides. Mm. Uh, and, uh, oh, Fuck Wolf ran into the flag wording. Yeah, it chased a bit too no, deep, good. it wanted that kill a bit too much, and it might pay for it. The flag feeling, luckily for it, the Fuck Wolf doesn't have 
veterans yet, though. And it seems like the fucking wolf will get out alive for now. If that STKFZ gets veterancy, or maybe even two-level uh, two veterancy due to a commander, that might look different in a minute. In the in the north, there there are more ta more tanks and infantry ran into the forest for Tatra for now, and yeah. the Skiager, which lacks of the uh, Sturm Skiager, is forcing normal Skiager into forest, which is not very good at close co close co close range combat. I think. Yeah, the Skiager is a weird unit, ain't it? It. Is it has the MG42 though? It's like it's a better grenadier, but you really don't want it in that deep forest. If you can force the fight in light forest, that's still fine. But the normal ski gears are not perfect for that fight in the forest. That's for sure. Um, in the center though, the ski gears are making headway because Tatra is investing all into the northern forest, and the ski gears now overwhelm some Panzer grenadiers there. Only a Pioneer MG26 uh, with one hit point is remaining to hold that flag. And that might be the 1311 for the red team there in a second. Once that Pioneer ah. is dealt with. Yeah, there oh. we go. Kill is there. 1311. And we have the tick. Income wise, by the way, both teams having a combination of Balanced and Maverick. So ah. they are perfectly on par with each other there. What's and we can see in the in the center plan there is a STKFZ uh, two five one into the um oh they oh he almost captured captured the flag. See there is a the park uh, the park thirty eight might got him. Yeah, good kill there for the uh, by the park thirty eight. Keeping the 1311 alive and the skiers are pushing really heavily now in the center. Their goal is to actually get into the village in the rear. Let's see if they can get there or if the blue team can bring in reinforcements to get them from there. Because if you get into that village, units there can be pretty annoying. And what's the T34 finds the Stuk 3E and the Stuk 3E is an old version of the Stuk. It ha doesn't have the frontal armor, it only has the short barreled gun. So its chances of dealing with the T-34 are a bit limited, but the T-34, luckily for the Stuk, does miss as well. But in the north, we have T-3485s coming in next to the KV, so Eric he should be able to hold the hill, but the forest fight, obviously, currently, is going in favor of Tatra. Some more Sturmskiegers have come in to all that one last forest line, but the middle of the forest already has been captured by Tatra. And the pioneers keep on pushing here, getting another surrender on some Skiagers. Meanwhile, in the south, the forest has become a big fighting ground as well. Nice snipe, though, from the Panzer 4G on the Panzer 3L. And the Panzer Grandiers of both sides are clashing here now, as the Sturm Pioneers of both teams have been nearly wiped out completely there. It's absolutely brutal fighting. Pack 40 is now coming around as well. One of my favorite units here, the Stuck M43 with its 105mm coming around as well. Pack 40 is getting the revenge kill on the Panzer 4G and it's heavy fighting down here. The big question is, when will we see the first King Tiger? Do we, you expect it in A phase or do you ex uh, will we see them only in the late game? I think currently the the. the 21st Panzer Division is invested uh, all its, its income to stabilize the front, the front. and uh, prob probably he, he would, would put his call his key out in B phase after he stabilized the front. Yeah, how? What do you uh, think is the way to deal with the King Tiger if they come onto the battlefield here as Tatra and? 26, because I feel like they don't have a great loadout to deal with the King Tiger. Um, how how would uh, you deal with it when it comes up onto the battlefield? Uh, for 26 Panzer Division, maybe Wolf Harmon or just Pack 40 side shot. Yeah, I believe you have to try to go for the side shot, right? Like, you don't really have much that can penetrate frontally. 
Hanfo is not really good enough. The Flak 41s and the Puck 40s also struggling a bit with that one. At least it's only the uh, Porsche uh, turret King Tiger, so it does have a bit less frontal armor, but it still will be pretty tough to penetrate. And the 1311 is still going on with that infantry push of the Ski Eagles in the middle, but some Storm Pioneers have come around, and Eriki might get pushed back there once more. Whilst the northern situation is still rather promising for Tatran Myers. A lot of tanks now in that forest. Though the Pack 36, I love that. The Pack 36 with the heat shells. And that is a really, really dangerous unit for all those Pack the Panzer 38s. Whilst the Ski Eagles ah. try to keep the infantry away. Uh, in the uh, in the forest, the Pack 30, uh, 36 could like act like a pop chip, but uh, oh, the Panzer Grenadiers, yeah, they did find it, and the, the Pack 36 continues moving forward, and that's a terrible mistake. Oh. The Pack 36 will die there. Those Panzer Grenadiers have enough firepower to wipe it out. A lot more infantry coming in now in the north for Eriki, so not continuously investing into the central push. So. The center will most likely fall, and we will most likely go back to a 12-12 for a while. Whilst in the south, the forest falls more and more to the blue side as well. But we have a good defensive line behind it by the 21st Panzer for now. Artillery wise, not super much on the battlefield yet. We have an SDKFZ with a 150mm in the rear. We have a couple of mortar half tracks, but it's not the biggest artillery game yet. That's for sure. Hey, like, wait a minute. You can see in the south there is a, a of Colaire. Spy into red side. You know, oh, uh, yeah, that is a back. great move. That is a fantastic move. That of Colaire. Ah. <laughs> if that can get into that building, it will see a hell of a lot. It can look down the whole road. It can see reinforcements coming in on the reinforcement road in the rear as well like that is a really 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 good move there and that's how you play with outdoors like steel division especially in team games you have always some way where you can get through on a map like this breast west, uh, west is a pretty big map and this is a fantastic move having such intel on your enemy is really a strong advantage in a game like this especially if you can get artillery and then maybe snipe the enemy AA that you see, snipe the enemy artillery before they can move away. But that's a big, that's a big adva advantage for the blue side, at least in the south. But they did lose their units in the forest there, so they will still have to wait. They pushed a bit too deep, and then all the Flak 41s and the Gorillas did eliminate quite a lot of their infantry. A Panther A leader is coming in, that's the biggest tank for now in the south, as no King Tiger has entered the battlefield just yet, so that could kill some units, but a Pack 43 is coming in, and that is a Panther killer, if I've ever seen one. Pack 43s versus Panthers, it's not even close. The Panther doesn't have the HE damage to overcome it, and the Pack 43 penetrates with any hit, uh, so the Panther will have to be careful. Whilst we have a 13-11 now for the blue team though, they took back the flag in the middle, they took one flag in the south, so, and they are continuously investing more and more into that forest in the north, but Ariki got enough infantry in there that I would say that is still a big fight ahead before any side can decide that fight. Uh, in south there. Oh, Ooh, good kill by the flag forty one. But we have the first counter battery now. We have a Hummel on the battlefield, going for that eighty one millimeter mortar half track. The half clerks have line of sight on that, and the Hummel is trying to snipe that. So that eighty one millimeter mortar has to be careful. Panther got smoked and is now retreating out of there a bit. Whilst the mortar half tracks on both sides continuously firing onto the infantry. You really don't want to be an infantryman down here in the south. Both sides have lost already so many infantry squads in these forest fights. It's an absolute carnage. Yes. Just, uh, just a meat gr grinder, right? Yeah, the meat grinders here are yeah. really turned on to the maximum. 
But we have more Krillus coming in than another Hummel. So the artillery lines on both sides get a bit bigger now. And I mean, with the Aufklarer advantage, investing into artillery absolutely makes sense. Um, I'm pretty sure the Aufklarers won't be spotted by the Pioneers, even though they will pass right next by, but their the transport trucks have horrible optics, and Aufklarers in a forest on f return fire are pretty invisible. So, even though they're riding right next to it, the Aufklarers should be hidden there. Sturm Pioneers. Engaging the Panzer Coenius. Panzer 3L is falling to the Panzer Track, though, and that will be back the 12 12. Yeah, red team does get its flag back in the Southern Forest. So we're back to a 12 12, and the advantages of both teams currently rather small, ain't they? Like, I would say red team yeah, ha has a small point advantage, but it's still a really, really close game here. Nibor oh. Warfare. Doctor Counter Battery to the Wolf Harmon, and. Uh... It's a near miss and they didn't kill it. Yeah, and the, the Wolf Ramen can be really uh, dangerous for the Sturmpanzer KV-2. As the KV-2 is a really slow tank, so if you react a bit late, you have no chance to uh, uh, escape the Wolf Ramen shot with the KV-2. And if you lose the KV-2 here in the north, that would be a bad situation for Ricky right now, because the infantry line in front of the KV-2 is currently crumbling. That KV-2 might become the centerpiece of the defense on the hill. A Pack 43 got brought in there from, by the 21st Panzer. So there is a bit of a defensive line on that hill, but you don't really want to rely on the Pack, uh, Pack 43 alone. Tiger coming in. Tiger engaging the KV-2 already. But the Pack 43 will also engage the Tiger in a second. If it's... Oh, no! Oh, ah, oh, no. we have the hill issue. We have the alignment uh, issue coming up here. Uh, uh, you should. Uh, <laughs> please. please. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. The Pack 43 will have to be it's moved. Horrible. The Pack 43. Oh. oh no, it continues on the attack move. It will have to be moved. Otherwise, it won't be able to fire at that position. Yeah, that, that hill. I, I know that hill. I always have my eye on when I bring a unit on the, on that hill. It's a, it, it's a dangerous hill for these. The, Kind of engagements. Only Sidlitz hills are worse than this one. Um, yes. The angles for your guns here are pretty rough. Panzer Shrek coming in. Pa Panzer 38 Tito coming in closer. Meanwhile, in the south, we have some pinks for counter battery as well. Is there any more artillery coming in for it though? Not really. Not. Hummel, meanwhile, goes full on counter battery. On the other side, the 81mm mortar though, still alive. And the 12-12 is still on. But now it's the Blues team that is trying to push in the center. Though it's only two Sturm Pioneers and I would say the defense of Ski Eager there should be good enough. But in the north, the Ski Eager defense line is crumbling in the forest. Like, you know, the Tatra is enough troop to push the Ski Jäger out of the forest entirely. Yeah, as you said before, uh, the, the biggest advantage there of Tatra is the light armor, and ta the Tatra player used that perfectly here. The Strafnik is pushing in deeper in, into it, whilst Flak 41 on the hill now is a pretty big scary unit for all these T-34s that try to come in down below. One of them already getting penetrated, getting its crew panicked. That means it most likely will be dead here. Another Pack 36 gets stuck there. Yeah, T-34 goes down. Pack 36 most likely will fall as well. And the Pack 43 is still in a rough spot. And Eriki Rapana is surrendering already. That's... He is. He is disheartened. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, early. No. Link of 111 coming in. I think 111 coming in for the spray wagon. That's a bit of an early uh, surrender, in my eyes. I think I think he he should uh, should be able to defend the hill with all his infantry wise, you know, the the forest, and uh, he 
he could stay for longer, but he decided to uh, surrender. It's quite weird for me, at least in my eyes. Yeah, especially if you have a King Tiger division on your side that has still a lot of open ground in front of it in the south. It could potentially capture. Um, yeah, not quite sure. It wasn't really a surrender. But yeah, I mean, he first surrendered and then left, so it was not an instant crash. Uh, yeah, weird. Weird. Skeeger. Hmm? Northern. Left flag. Half track flag was destroyed by Tigger. And then the, S uh, the J88 coming in nicely here. Panther A under fire. Panzer 4G will try to engage. Oh, the J88 shot down by. Yeah, but it did get its cluster off, and if it allows the kill onto the panther here, it would be worthwhile. But there's currently nothing that can get the shot. The Pack 43 got killed off. The artillery park here of the blue team is pretty strong. And yeah, it will be a tough oh. fight now with an AI companion for the red player here. As obviously the AI is not as good as a player. So yeah, Focke Wolf fighter bombers coming in here for the Panzer Grenadiers in the south. Focke Wolf's being pushed back. Oh. Oh. North with a Harman fired again against the uh, lead pack 43 and uh, I think it should be survive the the, the Savo, yeah, the pack 43 survive the RT strike. Yeah, that is surprising. The KV-2 has fallen by now. Oh no, the KV-2 is moving around. Ah, the AI is moving it to another spot. Naval Warfare is in the rear moving around quite wildly as well and yeah, this is not gonna end well for the red team is it with the blues pushing on onto the hill and yes. I, I, AI is sending the AA to death and uh, oh good he's coding it back see there's a SDKFZ 772 uh, being around the front line and uh, went back <laughs> in the north yeah yeah, the AI has to figure out the situation and so on. Like, the normal AI already is struggling if you have it from the start, but an AI that takes over mid game first has to figure out what actually is happening on the battlefield. So it has an even yeah. tougher position in the game. Um, Stoke 3G engaging the Panzer 3M here will oh, whoa, get killed by south. a Panzer 3M. Ooh, that is pretty rough in the middle. KV2 though, now having a line of shot, will. Wipe out that Panzer Grenadier mostly, unlikely, if the, oh. the Sturm Grenadier will move on further. First hit already gets two kills, and the second shot most likely will just be even more accurate. And there we go, yeah, Sturm Grenadier is wiped out. That's the strength of the KV-2. It can hit really, really hard when it hits enemy infantry. The J-87 uh, cluster bomber tries to go for the Tiger E, but there's too much A there. There's a flag feeling and a flag 41. Black 41 might be in a tough spot there. No, it has the angle there on the hill. And the other J87 won't make it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a no go for the J87. And the two star flag feeling most likely will get the kill there. Yeah, there we go. Flag feeling with two star veterans is super strong. And we have the 1410. The south is crumbling now as well. The Sherman in the forest and the Panzer Shrek there is still trying to hold the line. But the Storm Pioneers and the Stolstrup Beretta moving forward. And we Best have the first King Tiger, though. Thing. The first King Tiger has entered the battlefield. Finally. Sea face. Yeah. But to be honest, it's not that useful at this moment. Because, you know, the front line is still crumbling and a uh, single King Tiger won't save the day. It potentially it's can deal with the Panther A there, which would be a good kill, but it can't really push forward. You would need more units, and the 1311 is still on here. The SPW engaging the Giga Pioneers. The Stuk 3G oh. is engaged by the Flak 41 in the north. Yeah, the AI now will really struggle here, oh, as the no. Tiger and the Flak 41 are engaging it. The Flak 41 most likely will get the kill. 
in a second or so. Like one or two more shots. And that Stoke 3G should be dead. There we go. And with that, the whole north should be open for the taking. Yeah, bit of a shame here with the early surrender. As I'm I'm I would say the blue team wasn't at a pretty good at point at that position, but with a 21st Panzer, I would say you always can come back in a long team game. And there were still a good couple of minutes remaining. Yeah, and uh, it's a 16 minute game, so even though you just get the point, but still you can got a draw in the, in the, in the end. Yeah. The, the draw rules are the ones of the game, or what are the draw rules in the tournament? We use the Eugene one. Okay. Just, uh, when, when you went to 16 minutes and uh, how the game itself shows the, the result and we take the, that one. Okay. So, you know. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure that I understand the rule set in that part as well. So the, yeah, the BF109 goes down on the south as well. King Tiger is moving forward. Got the kill onto the Panther. But Pack 40 tries to get the kill onto the King Tiger there from the side. And that is the rough moment. Yeah, the two pack 40s with crossfire. Perfect setup there for the blue team. That's how you kill King Tigers, everyone. If you ever struggle in it in team games, this is the way how you do it. Do it if you don't have something that can penetrate frontally. Uh, perfect that's big game that's hunting. That's a typical here. crossfire for the you know pack 40 to kill King Tiger. Yeah, really, really well done. The Duan Panzer at least gets revenge kill on one of the pack 40s. A great combination usually with the King Tiger, but now with the King Tiger like that, it will struggle a bit more. Might be going in here for the next engagement against another Pack 40. As obviously, uh, we ran the bus for a mini now under heavy pressure. The North is crumbling pretty heavily now. It's a 59 situation. The red team is losing points pretty quickly. The Panzer is in, is in danger. Yep, yeah, but it gets the pin down on the Pack 40. Yeah, that. It's always a really interesting fight between Pack 40s and Sturm Panzers because both sides deal so much damage to each other. And yeah. if the Sturm Panzer gets the first shot off, the Pack 40 usually dies. And yeah, we have a situation here where the Sturm Panzer might be able to do it again. Krilla though can deal some damage to the Sturm Panzer as well, but the Sturm Panzer deals more damage to the Krilla as well. So it's yeah, it's it's not easy to kill a Sturm Panzer sometimes with their decent frontal armor. You usually need a real tank for it. That's the pack 40 here. Will oh, now die to the Storm Panzer. Uh, Can the Gorilla do the job with it? its 150mm? The HE damage lands next to it. Enough. Most likely does a bit of damage, but it was not quite on the Storm Panzer itself, so the Storm Panzer doesn't die there. And it will deal good damage to the Gorilla with its HE shell. Meanwhile, down the. Oh, oh, below that ridge, the Panther A got another Panzer 4 kill though. It's a 16-8 now. The North is completely falling apart here now. The AI trying its best to recreate a defensive line, but it just doesn't have the units left anymore. And that means that either the, we run the bus for too many breaks through within the next 5 minutes or so, or this game will be most likely over. It's the Northern part. Well, is and the, and the Pack 40 dies to the Storm Panther. Yeah. See? Don't pass the fear. Pack 40. The broom bear in general is a really underrated unit. Like I love that thing. It's a strong unit. The another pack forty coming. It's also the It's one of the reasons why I I like the four vulture mayor so much because they get quite a couple of those as well. Spivagen two 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 coming around here. Will get onto the pack 40 and the 20 millimeter auto cannon will do a good amount of damage pack 40 does miss the storm panzer once more so we might oh. have another gorilla <laughs> and another storm uh, pack 40 here dying to the storm panzer yeah. oh no the gorilla finally does it the hd damage with a direct hit was enough this time and they get but, the final kill black 41 get the kill yeah and now the gorilla might get the kill onto the spray wagon as well as the Spreewagen's 20mm of, front, uh, of frontal armor don't do much against a 150mm HE shell. So one more hit of that HE gun and it should be down. But the Panzer IV might save the day. Oh, yeah. 
Panzer Force oh. versus Panther now, though. As the Panther gets the kill, Gorilla goes down. Uh, but the Panther should be able to hold back against the other units here. First Panzer 4 H going down. A lot of Panzer 4 H is rolling in onto the battlefield. This is the last desperate push here of the red team. 59, the center and the north are completely crumbling now. But the south is still going strong. And they try to get a breakthrough here. But 26 Panzer seemingly has too much here. It's not going to be an easy push. Indeed. Another Panzer for each. The, the blue team now had a strong artillery forces in the back. So the K35 uh, and uh, the Hummer and the uh, Warhammer and uh, all this stuff. Yeah, the K35 in general, one of the best guns in the game. Its rate of fire is just absolutely amazing, together with a good accuracy. Uh, so, that one for sure does a good job here. That's the other side, you only have one Lorraine in the south, desperately trying to defend itself, and the 16-8 here is now on. The AI tries to use the Heinkel 111 in the north. Will get a bomb drop off there, most likely, but it doesn't really hit anything. As the Panzer Grenadiers already moved on, and the Flak Feeling might get another kill there. As two Flak Feelings and a Flak 41 open up fire there. That's and whoa. So well, luckily the bomber turned away in a in a long range, so the those Flak didn't put it down in the end. Yeah, Hank the 111 has good resilience. It's a pretty slow bomber though, so yeah, if you get a bit too close, it is a long time in the enemy fire. Uh, but the flag feeling yeah. not quite being in range. Um, though it doesn't really matter at this moment, does it? With all of those half wrecks and the Panzer 38s now moving over the hill. Tiger killing off the 81mm mortar in the rear. Yeah, I hope in game number two we won't see that early of a surrender from our players on the left side. Yes, that surrender uh, felt a bit, bit off. Maybe we need to get some military place to keep their, <laughs> they stay in the, their place. Yeah, this, the the spirit in line here, as the pocket wolf comes in here trying to hunt down the F8. Not much AA left, but the pocket wolf is not much faster than the bomber version of it, especially after the bomb drop, so it doesn't gain any ground. And it won't get the kill. And now it's directly turning oh, above the flag no. feeling, and that's not gonna end well, is it? Oh. Yeah, no, there I we go. That was, yeah. It has a tr burning trail behind it. It's gonna crash into the ground. Explosion happening there. 16 8, still going on. In the south, we have a good couple of Sturm Pioneers coming in versus the Sturbrabrata. Meanwhile, Grillis and Stoke 3 E's. Engaging the Spewagen 233. Yeah. Storm Pioneers coming mm. around as well. And artillery from the rear. Doing their job as well. That's so. a tough fight for Spearwagon 233. And uh, yes, that's the. Yeah, there's just so much fire on it. Panthers, Grillas, <laughs> Duke Threes. You really don't want to be the crew of that uh, Spielwagen there in that fight. As, yeah, that's a terrible. As we now have two minutes remaining on the clock here. The, the, the we ran the bus from Muni is really fighting with a lot of vigor here. Trying to stand the ground, but there's just so much coming for them. The Pack 43 trying to engage the Panther now. That could be one last big kill. Oh, it's engaging the Stuk 3G, uh, 3E for now in the north. Get the bailout there. Now aiming around for the pa uh, Panther A. And for the units on the ground there, gets one Panzer Grenadier killed in transport. A lot of mortar fire coming in. And yeah, really interesting game number one here. A lot of action from the start, a lot of back and forth. But with the blue team, with the bit better. Engagements in the forest fights mostly, and then the blue t uh, the red team crumbling a bit in the north, crumbling a bit in the center, 
and Eriki not seeing any chances of Skier bringing it back. Which I kind of can understand. Skier after a phase drops off a good bit, but Tatra can go on for quite a while with a strong force. And Hello. oh no, oh no, the bomber fleet Whoa. is out. That air raid. This is the this is the get out of my game air right here. Uh, with four Heinkel 111 and two Fucker Wolf 189s. Hello there. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Set 1007 coming in. The Heinkel 111 bombing the Flag 41s. The Gephardt's desperately trying to hold the line. Another Set 1007 coming yeah. in here with 800 kilogram bombs. And this is a lot of death. Uh -huh. This is a lot of death raining down here. Panzer Grenadier is going down. Half track in the ce center going down as well. Panther 4G getting hit by a Fakoval fighter bomber. Yeah, they really throw in everything here now that they have in the air within the last 40 seconds. Giving us, giving us a bit of a light show here as well. And the Gepard's <laughs> working overtime here. Probably run the best in Remini, but with their puny 20 millimeters, they just can't do enough. Another Gephardt coming in in the rear, but this will be the end of the game. The, these will be the last 20 seconds. There is no way that the Red Forces can push back here at this point. And we will go on to game number two in this best of three in a minute. Nice. That's the lastly end. Uh, we ran a bus into Rimini, kept the Sisu spirit in the end. The one stand into last. And yeah, the, on the other side, the, the Stravniki really nearly sharing perfectly the kills there. But. <laughs> <laughs> Only some, 30 points. Yeah, the the someone killed one ski or more there. Uh, <laughs> uh, they had to have the, the, the level up on, the, on their teammate there. So 4,200. Yeah, that was a strong opener by them. They really did hold their ground pretty nicely. And we gotta see if the other team can bring it back, if the Sisus can bring it back in game number two, or if we will have the other uh, the Strafniki team successful one more time. We're gonna go into a short break, guys, and we're gonna set up game number two, and then we will be back for you with that one. Let's see if it will be as tense once more. 